Hey guys, how's it going? This is Chris. Um, I am TOF in the forums, T-O-P-H. And uh, I've been getting some questions from guys um, asking about using the basically a VR headset with your phone um, rather than you know buying a uh, HDMI uh, adapter for your uh, controller and then buying you know headsets for it, which are typically going to cost several hundred dollars. You know, you're looking at probably anywhere be, you know on the low side, maybe three to five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars to get a full setup for a goggle view. Um, but using your phone, you can use something like this. It's basically kind of a glorified Google Cardboard. Um, I have the Hutu. Um, I saw these, bought them. It's kind of an impulse buy. Usually I do a little more research. But you can get um, something, it looks identical, they're called VR Box, and I think they're about half of what I spent on this. You can probably get them for about 20 bucks. But any of these that'll hold your phone are gonna do the trick. Uh, some things I'd recommend looking for, uh, you know, look for something that you see some reviews that it's comfortable. Uh, I was using the Quantum FPV goggles, and those things are great for the price, but, you know, these have uh, a good amount of padding on the inside here. You're going to want to make sure that you have something that is, uh, you know, where you can adjust the lenses, um, you know, for your vision. This one, you know, adjusts forward and back, and then you can see here on the side, left and right also. So you can kind of set it up to fit your head. You got this top head strap, so it goes on nice, you know, nice and snug. And then here's the tray where you're going to put your phone. So I'll show you the quick setup here. Some of the guys were asking me, you know, do you launch the DJI Go app first and then switch it when you get in the air? Uh, no, you don't want to do that. Um, I use the Go app for all my general flying, um, you know, general recording. Um, if I want to get some good footage, photos, stuff like that. But if I'm using goggles, um, I'm going to use the FPV camera app. There's a couple out there that'll do it. Um, I have Leechy too, but Leechy does not have the goggle support for iOS. So it does for Android. It's probably worth giving a shot because the Waypoint uh, program flying is pretty cool for Leechy. But uh, I'm going to use the FPV camera app. You're going to use this. This is basically going to be your operating system while you're flying. This will be your app. You're going to use this your entire flight. Um, you have to pay to unlock some of these features. Um, there's a normal camera mode that you'd, you could use for general flying um, in place of the DJI Go app, but the Go app's pretty solid in my opinion. So I pretty much stick with that for my, my important stuff. I'll do all my settings in, Go, in the Go app um, to adjust all the you know, phantom settings. But if I want to use goggles, this is what I'm using. So you know, you'll use your goggle option. And you can see here it gives you a split screen. Um, so basically the, there's a divider uh, inside these goggles. So you're looking at, you know, one side per eye. This, uh, you know, your little, your Google map right here, um, this is going to, it's going to look like it's just one big screen. Like you're just looking through one FPV uh, screen. This map is going to appear to be right in the center when you look through it, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but it's pretty cool. There's lots of on-screen display stuff. You know, you got your altitude, you got your your speed, you got your distance. Sorry if it's not very clear coming through there. Um, you know, and then here's all your settings. There, there's a lot more uh, settings and adjustments and on-screen display options um, than I expected for the app. I think I paid five dollars for the app and another seven or so to unlock the goggle mode. So you're, you're you'll be less than fifteen dollars deep to get this option, which is not bad in my opinion. So. We'll go ahead and fire it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, you know, this has just a little bracket, a little spring-loaded bracket that's going to hold your phone. I'm using the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, can't imagine a bigger phone fitting in here, but I don't know if they come a lot bigger, so you'd probably be okay no matter what you're using. Haven't used this on Android, so I don't know what the differences may be, but works good for this. So, you know, you're going to take your... Uh, lightning cable. There's a slot here on the side so you can hang it out of your goggles. And uh, all right, I'm going to fire up the Phantom. All right. Now what you're going to see here is you should see it looking back at us. Our on screen or our uh, FPV view should pop in. There it is. 
So uh, the warnings, you can see, that I don't know if they're readable on the screen, but there's a insufficient satellite message because we are uh, in the garage. And the IMU warming up, which is something you're going to see. Um, but I do like the on-screen display. You know, you got your, your speed, your distance, how far you've traveled, your altitude, which, you know, of course, none of us fly over the legal limit of about four or 500 feet. So, uh, you know, we're safe there. But, uh, you know, watch the camera as I, you know, bring it level. It's shooting straight forward. Actually, it looks a little crooked over there. I figured what's up, what's up with that. But, um, you know, as I tilt down, it's going to tilt down. As I tilt up, it comes back up. But you can go to your full 90 degrees just by looking down with the goggles on, which is cool. Of course, it's not going to go side to side because it's not, you know, the gimbal doesn't tilt that way. You're going to tilt the whole, uh, the whole UAV for those shots. But being able to look down on it is pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, you take these, pop them in, put it on your head. You're ready to go. It's a really cool experience. If you've never done it, I recommend it. You know, between the uh, app and the goggles, you know, I'm, you know, I don't know, maybe $50 deep for the whole setup, not including my phone. So pretty cool uh, to have this option. It's a really cool experience. You kind of feel like you're in the cockpit of the thing. So give it a shot. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.